27 storm track weather with senior chief meteorologist Bob Lindmeyer. Well, so far so good today. Of course, a big travel day. The weather was very cooperative and we're going to keep this uh, pattern going as uh, we go through Thanksgiving and into the weekend. Let's uh, just start right off with the next three days. For Thanksgiving, sunny skies, seasonally chilly with a high of 41. Friday, mostly sunny, colder, a high of 32. Saturday, mostly cloudy, a high of 35 degrees. So three great travel days. The question mark is going to be Sunday. That's when we have a chance of some light snow. I'll have more on that in just a moment. For to be guarantee worked out today, two degrees off. Another $27 one of the pot. It's steadily growing now up to $432. Highs all across southern Wisconsin, about the same as Madison. We are in the low to mid 40s. Not much of a range at all across the region. Meanwhile, off to the northwest, there's some cold air in Canada, as you might expect at this time of year. It's just one degree in Lynn Lake right now, and this cold air will be sp spilling into the upper Midwest, keeping temperatures below average starting on a Saturday or Friday, rather and going well into next week. Here current temperatures around the region, not that bad for this time of year, but we will have that colder air come in. Pretty quiet, there's a few snow showers across the Upper Peninsula, but that's where any unsettled weather is going to stay. And we are going to shift into this colder pattern, primarily because of the upper air wind flow, and it is going to shift more to the north. Here we are going through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. There's that northerly upper air wind pattern, which will bring that colder air in from Canada. The leading edge of the cool air is already starting to spill down. Here we have this frontal boundary now moving across central Wisconsin. All it will give us is partly cloudy skies tonight, no precipitation. Behind it, abundant sunshine, and it will be followed by colder temperatures as we go into the weekend. But it's going to be quiet. High pressure will give us plenty of sunshine for your Friday. And for Saturday, well, the high moves into the region, but it's going to be weak. Weak enough that will be under mostly cloudy skies uh, for your Saturday, but it does look dry. There's that area of light snow that's going to be cutting across the central plains. That could clip southern Wisconsin on Sunday. We'll keep you updated on that possibility. In terms of temperatures, we will go from the low 30s to right around the 40 degree mark uh, Thursday afternoon. From there, we drop into the upper teens to low 20s for your Friday morning. And then for uh, Friday afternoon, high temperatures just around 30 degrees. So uh, about a 10 degree drop from uh, Thursday, Thanksgiving into Friday. But that's not the only thing. There will be a north wind, not especially strong wind, but cold enough to make it feel about another 10 degrees colder. We'll have wind chills close to 20 degrees for your Friday. And once that cold air does arrive due to that upper air wind shift I showed you, it's going to be around for a while. The average high is 42. We're going to keep high temperatures in the 30s, not only through Monday, but well into next week. So partly cloudy skies overnight, low down to 31. Westerly winds at 5 to 15. For your Thanksgiving, mostly sunny skies. A seasonal day with a high of 41. West winds, north winds rather, at 5 to 15. Mostly sunny Friday, high at a colder high at 32. Then Saturday, mostly cloudy, 35. There's that chance of snow. I'm going to give it about a 30% chance of some light snow, primarily Sunday morning. Then back to some uh, dry weather Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week.